We bless God in Jesus' name for this is the day once again that the Lord has made and we're grateful, we're glad in it. We praise him, our Lord and Savior. Father, we come before you right now giving thanks, giving praise, giving glory and honor to you, our Savior. Thank you for just being God. We bless the Lord this morning, 2 Corinthians 1. Thank you, Lord God. Verses 3 and 4, King James Version. It actually says this, Bless be God. Even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God, thank you, Lord God, of all comfort, who comfort us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them who are in any trouble, thank you, Lord God, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted by God. I thank God, y'all, in Jesus' name, still again, each and every one of us to understand. Amen. I'm praising God, the God of all comfort, no matter what it is we are going through. Amen. God is a comforter, and I praise God, amen, in Jesus' name, that even as he comfort us, amen, we're taking that same comfort that we're able, praise God, to comfort others others. Thank you, Lord God. So we bless God this morning. We're giving thanks and praise again for each and every one of you in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. All week, all week we've been talking, praise God, coming from uh, John chapter 4, and I thank God, you know, we're still there. (laughs) We're still there in Jesus' name, but I thank God. This is the thing. Everything that exists, it exists, amen, for a purpose, and I know you know this. Every product exists for a purpose determined by the manufacturer and not the product. In other words, whatever the manufacturer created, that product, he didn't create the product for the product. He created it, amen, for himself, for the manufacturer. And still again, even to understand, we want to say this, that God created us. He created us, amen, each and every one of us, praise God, to worship him to worship him and praise God to back it up with scripture amen because faith still again comes by hearing hearing by the word of God and I thank God in Isaiah 43 amen 43 verses 6 and 7 and also verse 21 it says this I will say to the north give up and to the south keep not back bring my sons amen from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth even everyone that is called by my name. For I have created him for my glory. I formed him, yea, I have made him. Thank you, Lord God. And in verse 21, it says this, This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. Thank you, Lord God. So again, God created us. He created each and every one of us, praise God, for to worship Him. We were created to worship God, created to worship Him. And even as we stated, amen, as we've been looking at John chapter 4 and understanding, amen, we say the world is thirsty. Amen. Those who have not accepted Him as Lord and say they are thirsty. And they're looking, they're trying to fulfill a void, amen, that only He can fill. Only God can fill. Thank you, Lord God. But we want to look at John, amen, 4, 21 through 24. Praise God, and we are going to pray. Amen. The word of God, it says this, and I know you already know it, but we're going here again. It says, Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour come when you shall neither worship, when you shall neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour come, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeks such to worship Him. Verse 24, God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. I bless God for His word, and still again, even where it says, praise God, you worship Amen. You know not what. Amen. Praise God. What the Lord or what Jesus was saying. Praise God. Amen to her. Amen. They they were worshiping. They were ignorant in their worship. And even as they were ignorant in their worship because there was no other religion that had, amen, the oracles of God. Amen. And what they did is if you look in, I believe it's in Deuteronomy, amen, Deuteronomy 12. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Deuteronomy 12. Let's put it in your hearing. Deuteronomy 12, verse 5 and 6. It says, The Lord your God will choose a special place among your tribes that he may be, amen, that 
will be the home for his name. You must go to the place to worship him. And there, thank you, Lord God, you must bring your burnt offerings, your sacrifices, your one-tenth, amen, of your crops and animals. And any gifts you promise to him and special gifts, amen, that you want to give in the first animals born, amen, in your herd and your flocks. This was, amen, the word of instructions that was given. And if you uh, look at a study, anything concerning uh, the Samaritans, they believed, amen, or accepted the first five books of the Bible, amen, and that was it. But they veered off, amen, they veered. They went in a different direction, praise God, and worshiping other things, praise God, and still even as the Lord was saying to, to amen, to the woman, praise God, at the well, amen, ye worship, ye know not what. And even today, if you think about it, you have people who are worshiping, but they still don't know who and what they're, wor- who they're worshiping. Amen, praise God. And even as we're looking at this particular passage, amen, praise God, and understanding, amen, what the Lord is uh, basically saying, uh, he's looking, and this is the thing, amen, godliness always seeks godly things, amen, that means holy, amen, righteous things, good things, beautiful things, and things that are true. And even when we're looking at this, praise God, amen, uh, to understand true worship, true worshipers, rather, Amen. They are going to be found, going to be found because God is seeking them. God, the, this is what the Word of God says. He, God seeking. He's seeking. Thank you, Lord God. He's seeking for true worshipers. He's seeking. Amen. And to understand, if we're not seek, if we're not uh, worshiping God according to the Word of God. His word, doing things the way God has called and living according to the way God is calling us. This is the only ones who are going to be found of those who are worshiping God according to the word, the biblical word of God. Amen. And I thank God still again even here because we have false worshipers. Amen. And the false worshipers, they're not pleasing God. Amen. Uh, saying all kind of crazy stuff. And I know you've heard all kind of crazy stuff because I've heard all kind of crazy stuff. Amen. From people saying things, the man upstairs and, you know, they worship and, you know, energy and all. No. We worship a true, it's a true and living God. Amen. They worship what they do not know. Praise God. And still understanding it's according to the word, the word of God. Amen. That we must long to be, amen, what God is seeking for. Amen. And if we're longing to be what God is seeking for, thank you, Lord God. We must be these people of the Bible, of the word of God, of the word. This is why constantly in the word, in the word, we're in the word of God, getting in the word, allowing the word to get inside of us. Amen. And if we're allowing this word to be on the inside of us, God is seeking you. Oh, oh my God. Amen. If this word is not coming alive, and I tell you there's so much in, amen, we've read John chapter 4 before. Amen. Many times. Amen. But just looking in this word and understanding, praise God, from verse 23 where he says, but our come, and now is, amen, when the true worshipers Amen. Shall worship the Father and worship it in spirit and in truth. And it says, for the Father is seeking such to worship. God is seeking those. He's seeking after. Thank you, Lord God, those that are worshiping him. Amen. And again, according to the word of God. Amen. And understand it when we're saying people doing any and everything. And understand this, the word of God, even through Bible study. I thank God the word of God out of, of Romans, praise God, as uh, Pastor Gary made mention, amen, in our Bible study last night, Romans 12, amen, verses 1 and 2, we're familiar where God is, amen, the Apostle Paul, he says, you know, present your bodies as living sacrifices, amen, unto God, amen, holy, that will be acceptable unto him, but even when you look at verse 2, where he constantly saying, you hear this, amen, be not conformed conform to this world. We're in this world, but don't be conformed to this world. Don't go with the ways of the world. And this is what we have seen. Amen. So, oh, I I know, praise God, around us, Amen. Those who say they love God, those who say that they're following God, or they, they uh, uh, worship God, but they're conforming to the world. And God, in his word, he's saying, don't conform, don't go with the ways of the world. But we see, amen, in so many ways, so many ways, my God, my God. 
I thank God, you know, just um, yesterday as we were we were out, amen, with our granddaughter, amen, and uh, we were walked past, you know, here it was all the eggs and the, the bunny rabbits and all these different things that was put up. And even, you know, just, um, just we, we got in a conversation and to understand to, to this, what the world has made or what the world do. Amen. And what I'm saying is this is what they have brought the, uh, uh, as, as far as saying the resurrection of the, birth, you know, the, the uh, crucifixion, what happened with Christ. They, they, this is what the world has done. And then we find where the people of God, people of God who say they love God, amen, that have gotten caught up in, in eggs and bunnies that has nothing, thank you, Lord God, to do with him. Do with, but this is what the world offers. The world offers, and even as Pastor Gary made mention, even around Christmas time, amen, what, what does the world offer? Amen, a Santa Claus, a Santa Claus. Oh, my God, but still, again, saints of God, amen, when we're saying, amen, even as Jesus spoke the words to this woman, praise God, at the well, ye worship, amen, ye worship, thank you, Lord God, what you do not know, amen, praise God, man-made, man-made religion, man-made stuff, man-made things, amen, it's still, again, the word of God that admonishing us as a people of God, don't be conformed to this world. Don't be conformed to the world. There are so many things, praise God, that we could just go on and on and on about. But to understand still again, amen, praise God, that what we are to do, amen, we are to live according, praise God, to the word of God. We must be a people, amen, of the Bible. We have to be a people, amen, of his word because this is the thing. God's word is truth. God's word is truth. Thank you, Lord God. And I bless God still again, even knowing, amen, as we worship him, amen, we're not worshiping, praise God, out of our flesh, amen, but I praise God still even in the word of God, amen, I thank God. And what we ought to do, we are to love God with everything in us. Love God with all our heart, our mind, amen, soul. Thank you, Lord God, everything that we are loving God, amen, worshiping him in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless God, amen, this morning still again. Thank you, Father, that even as we are looking, amen, to the author, the finisher, thank you, Lord God, of our faith. He's the author, the finisher. Thank you, Lord God, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Praise God. And as we look to him, amen, and still again, amen, as we worship, true worship, true worship according to the word of God. Amen. Praise God. It's not a place. It's not about a place or building. No, it's about what comes, amen, our heart. Amen, our heart, that we're serving him with all our heart, mind, and soul. Thank you, Lord God. And I bless the Lord. I thank God still again. Amen. Praise God for what God is doing. Amen. In the midst of his people, in the midst of his people. Thank you, Lord God. In the word of God. Let's put this in your hearing. In the word of God in Mark 12. Thank you, Lord God. Mark 12. 28 through 30, the word of God says one of the teachers of the law had came, amen, and heard them uh, debating. They were debating about marriage and resurrection, and here they, they heard this, and they noticed that Jesus was uh, had given them good answers, and he asked him, he said, of all the commandments, which is most important? Amen. In verse 29, the Bible says, amen, the most important one is Jesus answered is to, amen, hear, O Israel, hear, people of God, my God. The Lord our God, the Lord, amen, is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and with all your strength. And in verse 31, he says, the second, amen, is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. He says, this commandment, amen, praise God, This is there is no commandment, rather, greater than these. And I thank God, amen, praise God, to understand, amen, once again, as we worship, as we are worshiping, all your heart, amen, praise God, according to the word of God, the word of God. It's not about a building. It's not about, praise God, in the name of Jesus, a song. <laughs> Y'all, but it's about our love for him, our love for God, and even as the word of God says, he's searching, 
God is searching for the true worshipers. He's looking for those that love in him. Thank you, Lord God. We're not talking about, amen, I love him on, you know, on Sunday morning. I love him, you know, during Bible study. No, this is, you know, and this is the thing. This is not, amen, this is a way of life. This is a way of life. When I hear people say certain things, you know, God is calling holiness. Holiness. He said, be ye holy, for I am holy. I'm holy. Thank you, Lord God. Be ye holy, for I am holy. Thank you, Lord. This is what God is searching for. He's searching for such, praise God, that will come after him, seeking after him in the name of Jesus through the word of God. I bless God this morning in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, saints of God, sons and daughters of the most high God. In the mighty, if there if there is, praise God, that there's still, amen, in you where you're searching, there's something, praise God, there's a void that you're feeling, amen, in the name of Jesus. The only one that can fill that void is, is him. It, it's God. It's God. Nothing else, nothing else will do. Amen. Even again, as we said, before we ever knew God, before we knew him, we did what we wanted to do. We did what, what we weren't supposed to do. We did what we thought we were big and bad enough to do. My God, and even when we tried to do right, we couldn't do right because we couldn't do it without Him. Not without Him. Thank you, Lord God. And again, going back to what we started out with, to understand everything exists. Everything, praise God, that exists. It exists for a purpose. You exist for a purpose. God knows the plan and the purpose and why you're here. Thank you, Lord God. And even to understand, thank you, Lord God, even as we spoke of, you know, the, uh, the product exists, amen, for a purpose, amen, determined by the manufacturer. you got to understand, thank you, Lord God. I still hear those words of Dr. Miles Monroe, amen, when something go wrong, amen, in your life, you got to go to the manufacturer. Ah, Go to the manufacturer. We're not running here, there, and everywhere. Thank you, Lord God. We go to the manufacturer, the creator, the one who created us and know everything that there is to know about us. We go to him. Thank you, Lord God. And I thank God that as we seek him, as we seek him, this is not a one-time thing. This is a every single day, thank you, Lord God, that we're in the presence, we get in the presence of God. We're seeking after Him. Thank you, Lord God, in knowing that it's Him that is able. Thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, our God who is able. Thank you, Father, to do exceeding abundantly above, amen, whatever we ask or think. Thank you, Lord God. It's only God in the name of Jesus who is able to do things according to the power that works in us. Thank you, Lord God. So we bless God this morning. Father, we thank you. We thank you for being our hope. We thank you because, Lord God, you are our salvation. You are, Lord God, power. Uh, thank you, Lord God, our healer. You are our deliverer in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, because, Lord God, it's you who have the ability, Father, to set free. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, to set us free and set free anyone, Lord God, from every yoke of bondage. You're the one, Lord God, that's able to break, Lord God, and loose every fetter. And, Father, I thank you that even as you would loose, Lord God, the bands of every stronghold in the name of Jesus, strongholds in the mighty name of Jesus, of addiction, strongholds, Lord God, of alcohol, Lord God, spirits of depression, Lord God, spirits of rejection, spirits of low self-esteem, Lord God, spirits, Lord God, of fear, Lord God, it's you that is able to do, it's you in the name of Jesus and only you, God. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, there are many that are searching, searching for answers, oh God, and they're searching in the wrong places. But God, I pray in the name of Jesus as you continue to stir up gifts 
Father, on the inside of each and every son, every daughter, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that wherever we are, in the name of Jesus, be it in our homes, Lord God, around those that may not know you, Father, that we're living this life that you have called, Lord God, us to live, and Father, that we're sharing the gospel, we're sharing, in the name of Jesus, the good news, we're pointing men, boys and girls, Lord God, women, we're pointing them to you, Father, because in your word, you still said if we if we lift you up we lift you up, Lord God. You said, I'll draw, I'll draw, I'll draw. Thank you, Lord God. Help us in this hour. In the name of Jesus, to lift you up. Lift you up, Lord God, in the name of Jesus in our neighborhood. Lift you up, Lord God, in your mighty name. Thank you, Lord God, for that job. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that we will forever be a light that shine and let us be that beacon, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. That we will be for you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, what you have called, Lord God, in this hour, in this season. Father, I thank you. We praise and glorify you, Lord God. There's somebody, Lord God, that's ready to give up. There's somebody, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord God, open our eyes. Open our eyes, Father, that we will see. Open our eyes to see in the name of Jesus. Open our ears, God. Open up in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray, let there be an anointing, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father, that we can see past, Lord God, what we see in front of us. Help us, Lord God, to hear your voice in the name of Jesus, Lord God, when you're speaking, the relationship, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, there's such a relationship in the mighty name of Jesus that even if you whisper, God, that we can hear you in the name of Jesus and that we're walking in obedience, God, to your word. Help us in this hour. Help us, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to be sensitive, Lord God, to your spirit. God, this is our prayer. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, in your mighty name, we pray, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus this day, Lord God. I'm thanking you and praising you still again. Thanking you, Lord God, for what you've already done, what you've done in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for saving our souls. Father, we praise you. We glorify you this day in the name of Jesus. I thank you. I praise you right now, Lord God. Cover your sons, your daughters, in the name of Jesus. Those, Father, on their way to work, Father, we pray traveling mercy. We pray in the name of Jesus, whatever mode of transportation, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, travel in mercy. Lord God, we pray in the name of Jesus, even the peace of God when they arrive where they're going to. We thank you now and we praise and glorify you, Lord God, whatever appointment today, in the name of Jesus, Father, be glorified. Be glorified, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, you get the glory. You get the glory, Lord God. The fruit of our lips will bless you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We give praise. We give glory and honor. Uh, why? Because we were created, Lord God, to worship you, to worship you, to praise you, to glorify you, Lord God. And, Father, I thank you once again in the mighty name of Jesus. We praise you, Lord God, always for our children. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, still again, that they are taught of you part of you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the word that's on the inside of them. You said train them up in the way they should go. And when they're old, Father, they won't depart from that word because that word is on the inside. On the inside, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for being the keeper that you are. We bless your name this morning. We thank you, Lord God, this day in the mighty match, this name of Jesus, again for your sons, your daughters. In the name of Jesus, the God, remember, God is able to do exceedingly, exceedingly. He exceeds, thank you, Lord God, abundantly above what you ask in Him. Thank you, Lord God, and still again, according to the power that's working in you. In the name of Jesus, it is unto Him be glory. Thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. It's through Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord God. We bless you and honor you, Father. We thank you. And still knowing, Lord God, by your authority, authority of the name, the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. Power, we already stated this, is power in that name, healing in the name, deliverance is in that name, salvation, every, everything is in the name. It's in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. 
So we render, Lord God, every demonic spirit, every attack of the enemy that would come up against us. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we still declare it, Lord God, is powerless, is helpless, and operative, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we praise you what's coming up against, Lord God, us and our families, our finances. In the name of Jesus, we declare your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, because you said no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. Every tongue, every tongue, Lord God, that would rise up against us in judgment, we are condemning it right now. In the name of Jesus, remember, whether you've heard those words or not, you condemn it in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you. We bless you. We honor you once again for who you are, Lord God. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus, saints of God, don't forget it. Thank you, Lord God, that the Father, he seeks such to worship him. He's seeking. Thank you, Lord God, in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. Go in the peace of God. Amen. Praise God. True worshipers. Amen. I bless the Lord this morning. Amen. For the woman of God and for the prayer, for the word. Amen. I pray that you have been encouraged. Amen. Praise God. Through the word. Amen. Listen, as you go throughout your day, we always say this. Amen. Be encouraged. Encourage yourself. Encourage others around you. Speak life and not death. Speak victory and not defeat. And know that you're way more than conquerors. You're overcomers. You've been brought with the price of precious blood of Jesus Christ. Live on purpose. Live with the purpose and live the purpose-driven life. God bless you. We love you all to life.